Hello, 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 and welcome to another Rangaroo's Unit of the Week. And today we are taking a look at the Live Group RBS90 AA Squad for Sweden. So during the 1960s, the Swedish Defence Force pretty much realised that hey, we need some better anti-aircraft weapons because they are mainly using large flak batteries and 40 millimeter cannons to shoot down planes. But in the age where missiles roared supreme, they needed to upgrade. And so in the late 70s, 1977, the Swedish Armed Forces came up with the RBS-70. Now the RBS does stand for Robotic System 70, and the 70 pretty much stands for all the decade that it was built. And simply put, it was an anti-aircraft car man-carryable launcher that you'd use to shoot down enemy planes and helicopters. Now, this isn't exactly a man pad in a ray like a stinger is, because two main differences. First off, it weighed an absolute crap ton. You couldn't just fire this from the soda, you'd have to put it on a mount, and with the mount as well, it would weigh up to roughly, I don't want to say 60 to 80 kilograms, which is an awful lot of weight, and well, if you're the poor sucker having to carry this, I feel rather sorry for you, and it does require quite a few people to set up one of these. This is right, it's a five-man squad, and not a two-man squad. And secondly, it doesn't use an infrared homing missile. Instead, the missile is guided by a guidance beam, or a laser-guided missile, to be more precise. Pretty much, it's like using a tow missile in Battlefield to shoot down enemy planes, but it is actually designed to shoot down said planes and because it uses guidance beam the early versions of the RBS especially the RBS 70 could only be used during daytime as at night time you didn't have a clear line of sight on the target now eventually they upgraded this AA system to the RBS 90 in well the 90s and the one major difference that it had was that it had an infrared scope allowing you to shoot during low light conditions now, in-game, the Live Group RBS-90 is a 25-point AA squad with two weapons available to them. The first weapon being the Kapist M458. I'm completely sorry, I butchered that name, but heck, it's three discs. But anyway, it's a submachine gun. It's not all that effective. You only got 20% accuracy because this isn't exactly a standard infantry squad designed to fight other infantry. This is mainly just a last resort weapon. And secondly, we have the RBS-90, the weapon that the squad is named for. If a range of helicopters are 2,800 meters, airplanes are 2,240 meters, 55% accuracy, 4 HE, and a reload time of 5 seconds. Overall, a rather long-range infantry-based AA weapon, though know, it does lack a little bit in terms of HE power. And if we pop down to a miscellaneous set, they have no armor whatsoever because it's just squishy people. 5 HP, or 5 guys, very small size, medium optics, a speed of a very understandable 15 kilometers an hour, regular training, good stealth, year restricted to 1990 run, and they can pretty much be brought up in any type of deck. Now, in battle, the Live Group RBS-90 is a rather interesting manpad squad, mainly due to the fact they have an enormous range of 2,800 meters. Now, in terms of dealing with helicopters, that is the absolute street spot. That is what you really want to strive for when buying your standard anti-helicopter AA pieces. Due to the fact that most ATGMs that a helicopter uses is that maximum range of 2,800. You know, this is also an infantry squad, so you don't have to worry about getting hit by ATGMs. It's more about the rocket pods and auto cannons and pretty much anything that can get too close to your infantry. Now the interesting thing is comparing these things to the Stinger C that the Americans get. And they are five point cheaper and it is a rather big trade off between both units. The RBS-90 does have better range and a slightly faster reload time. But the Stinger does have a lot better accuracy at 70% and 5 HE compared to 4. And honestly that difference from 4 to 5 can be rather big. That can be 2 hits to three hits roughly on a plane sometimes it's a bit randomized so it's not always exactly accurate especially when dealing with shooting down planes and helicopters but 
it really just comes down to personal preference. If you want to be able to hit the units from farther away to get the RBS, if you want to be getting your AA units or AA infantry closer and doing more damage, you get the Stingers. But honestly, the RBS 90s are a bit more of a safer and easier choice. You don't have to micromanage them as much. You can keep them in the back line with the rest of your AA squads. And round 2,800 meters, that's a big, big difference for an infantry AA unit. And in terms of vehicles, just get them in one of the 10 point transports. You've got three of them, just pick it one looks more fancy to you. I like one that looks like a VW bus. But anyway, the RBS 90. It's an uh, interesting AA piece, definitely very different from what any other faction can bring up in their infantry section. And it's honestly a very good unit to have in your decks. You can have in a lot of decks because it isn't prototyped, which is honestly quite amazing. So anyway, I'm going to leave it off that. This has been another Rangaroo's unit of the week. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And as usual, please adjust, take it easy.